So as I mentioned off the top of the show, the Bank of Canada will make their uh, interest rate announcement on June the 5th. Now, as I said, there is speculation that we could see an interest rate cut come June the 5th, 65% chance that we could see a cut. And I think even greater chance that if we don't see a cut in June, provided that the economic data uh, stays as it is right now, we could see a cut instead uh, come July. And, and it's interesting because, you know, a lot of people are starting to weigh in. They're trying to figure out based on the economic data where the Bank of Canada will wind up. And so really the Bank of Canada, I think is gonna be mixed because the data is mixed. On one hand, we're seeing inflation fall towards 2.7% right now on the headline number in Canada, as well as the, the core number. So we're seeing inflation fall, which is a great thing. We're seeing the overall economy start to slow down, but then we go ahead and get on our last jobs report, growth of 90,000 jobs in Canada, well above the 20,000 jobs we were anticipating. So on one hand, we're seeing things slowing down, receiving a, a weaker economic data. But on the other hand, we're getting stronger jobs data, stronger uh, other economic data. We're hearing retail sales, which were pretty much uh, flat uh, or actually negative uh, for uh, the last reading. We're starting to hear things starting to pick up in the month of uh, well, we're picking up in the month of April. So here we are now in May, and the data we're going to get is for April and March. And I think the Bank of Canada will be able to decide whether they want to make a move uh, in the next, uh, I guess, week or so, or whether they want to see some more data, another month's worth, before they move in uh, in July. Wanted to touch on one important part, one important part uh, before we get to the charts that I have for you, and that's the dollar. If the if the Bank of Canada were to begin cutting rates, let's say in June or July, uh, the United States doesn't look like they're gonna cut uh, rates anytime soon. Perhaps the earliest the US is talking about cutting rates now, maybe not until the fourth quarter. What is going to happen with our dollar? Well, in my opinion, our dollar is gonna get a lot weaker versus the US, and that will help some industries and will work against some industries. It'll help manufacturing. It'll help any really business that exports to the US because they'll be able to buy our goods or those companies' goods a lot cheaper. But those that are importing from the US, things are gonna get a lot more expensive. Travel to the US is gonna get a lot more expensive. And some are actually saying and, and mentioning that if we're starting to pay more for the things that we bring in from the US, our largest trading partner, well, what does that mean? Prices go up and that could possibly be inflationary should the US not cut rates anytime soon and Canada continue to cut rates. So it will be interesting to see what the Bank of Canada says and how far they could cut rates before it starts to have perhaps a negative impact on the dollar and perhaps a negative impact on our economy. I have a few charts here that I wanna go through. Bank of Canada's overnight interest rate is our first chart. We've seen this before. 5% is the Bank of Canada rate right now. And as you can see, 2.7% inflation rate. The gap seems to be just growing and growing as inflation falls and as the Bank of Canada keeps our uh, or their rates, uh, I guess, the same at 5%. You can see that flat line there. Uh, you're looking now at a over well over a 2% spread between the two. Our next chart that we have here is uh, Bank of Canada inflation, and it talks about different types of of uh, consumer price index, CPI, median CPI, trim CPI. The bottom line is this, uh, when you look at core CPI and all the different types of metrics, when you, uh, uh, when you look at CPI in general, they're now all below 3%, the median being uh, 2.6. But when you look at uh, the, the headline number, you're looking at a, a core CPI or inflation rate in Canada of 2.7. And keep in mind, Bank of Canada's target rate is in and around 2%. Do we have to get to 2% before the Bank of Canada cuts rates? Absolutely not. And I think both central banks, the Fed and Bank of Canada, will move before the actual rate hits 2%. As long as they can see a path to that 2% rate, I think they're going to uh, start cutting rates and continue to cut rates. Uh, next chart we have here is one on jobs. 
And here it just shows economy adds 90,000 jobs for the month of April, well above the estimate of 20,000 jobs. And you can see on the far hand, uh, I guess part of this chart, a bit of a pickup there. Uh, we're going to get jobs data uh, out of both Canada and the U.S. Uh, not this um, Friday, but a week Friday. And that's going to tell us uh, how strong the labor market is. And of course, give us an indication on just how strong the overall economy is as well. We have, uh, uh, I guess, uh, here the next chart, which is the unemployment rate in our country. If anybody's wondering what the unemployment rate is in Canada, it's 6.1%. And uh, as you can see here, it's been 6.1% for, for quite some time. Uh, and it's it's been, I guess, floating up from the lows of, let's say, 5 5.5%. And, and uh, it's been about 6.1% now for a few months and uh, hasn't really moved. But uh, I guess the talk is, what does the unemployment rate have to move up to before we see an inflation rate of closer to 2%? So how much does the economy have to slow down before we see uh, a rate of 2% or inflation rate of 2%? So overall, I think the, the everyone is going to be watching uh, with anticipation, we're going to get some economic data at the end of this week. Um, we're going to get some confirmation as to if the economy is slowing down, if the slowdown in the inflation rate, if it all comes in the way the Bank of Canada wants to see it. And on June 5th, if they cut rates or will they hold off perhaps one more meeting and then cut in July. So I think, as I said, it's going to be uh, an interesting day come June 5th. And not only will uh, we'll get the announcement, but we're going to have to listen to what uh, Tiff Macklin, the head of the Bank of Canada, has to say with respect to if they don't cut, what he will say going forward if they are looking to cut in July.